So uh, Meredith will be starting, Meredith Randolik will be starting at the one again this year. Um, she shot 120,000 shots uh, this quarantine slash preseason. So, um, you know, one of our hardest workers, definitely. Um, as a team, actually, we shot like over 600,000 shots during our time off. So really across the board, it's been one of our most productive um, summers. Um, Mia Guskoff, she'll be starting at the two. And um, again, uh, over 70,000 shots uh, taken, um, consistent, one of our captains along with Meredith uh, as uh, juniors. And then uh, Kylie Wolf uh, starting at three. Um, same, same deal, she's a senior captain this year, one of our leaders in the sense that she's very vocal um, and she's really solid. She um, is very even keel. She doesn't get too high, too low, and she kind of keeps us grounded. And then uh, Kaylee Wilson will be starting at the four this year. And she uh, is another one of our vocal leaders, captains. And she is one that will get us hyped up and um, she looks great this, this preseason. She's strong, she's attacking the basket well. Um, really excited for her. And then Izzy Centeno, who played a little bit of JV last year um, and then came on strong there at the end and helped us. Um, she'll be filling that final role in the fifth spot. And she looks great too. She's really had one of her best preseasons. Um, she got a lot stronger, um, a lot more physical. Um, so she helps us in the size department because we're, we're not very big, so. And then we've got some, um, you know, really young, talented players as well. Um, Maddie Knopp will be coming back. Um, she played uh, JV and Varsity last year. She was our first guard off the bench, and um, she will just be playing Varsity this year. And uh, she played volleyball, so we haven't seen her yet, but I know she worked hard over the summer. Um, Macy Takis, she'll be filling a post role for us. Same thing as Maddie. Um, she... Uh, did not play volleyball though this year, so she'll she's had a great preseason. She's probably one of our strongest girls. Um, and then Marley Peru, she is a freshman, um, and you've probably recognized that name. She has two older sisters that um, have played for us and now playing in college, um, but she is definitely making a name for herself um, here early on for us. And then we actually have two other freshmen that have been helping us out in practice and might get a little playing time, Gracie Steiner and Allie Maddox and um, and those three and along with some of our other freshmen have really impressed us with just their competitiveness and their grit and their like no fear attitude. It has been absolutely wonderful getting to coach them. Um, you know, I, I have to say like our, our um, middle, sc middle school coaches have done a fabulous job uh, preparing them because they stepped in right away and they haven't missed a beat and everything that we've thrown at them they have taken on the challenge um, and that's across the board for our freshmen so it's been a really exciting uh preseason i take the role as like trying to be a mentor and leader for the ones that become that are behind me so like whether that's if i have the ball i'm trying to create the place for others or i need to score i'll find ways to score but Ultimately, I'm trying to find ways to create for others and just be a better leader for my teammates. You know, one of the focuses since I became the head coach is just our skill development. I think it's incredibly important. Um, you know, I'm a big believer that if you can dribble, pass, and shoot, then it doesn't really matter what offense you run, it's going to be successful. And I think um, we're going to start seeing kind of the results of that hard work this year. Um, they even during quarantine, they were putting up shots, they were dribbling, you know, in their basements, and it showed when we got back together in, in June and July, it was absolutely apparent that they had been working their butts off, whether it was running, you know, getting exercise in and staying in shape. Um, you could tell they weren't just sitting around, and I think that just goes to show we have emphasized skill development for so many years now, and they're seeing the results of that, and so when we challenged them to still stay active, they totally took the challenge. We need to focus on our talk, actually. Um, we have, since we are so young, we have a lot of girls who are quiet on the court. So defensively, that's gonna help us immensely as long as we talk with e each other. And um, as long as we just gotta work hard. I think we just need to focus on being more consistent on both ends and just playing more for each other in general because 
I mean, ultimately you win with the team and not by yourself. And we've been working really hard this summer. Obviously with COVID, it's given us more time to break down and stuff. But as a team, we just need to play more aggressive and with high intensity at all times and be more consistent. We were, I guess, fortunate in the way that uh, we, have, we have some really great leaders and really dedicated players who self-motivated, but also motivated um, the younger girls. And then along with that, we have some really great younger girls who are self-motivated as well. So they were able to, you know, like I said, continue working on their own. Um, and then we were able to put in some things uh, very quickly and use some things that we have already had in because these juniors and seniors have been in my program for four years now. And um, they they are picking up things a lot faster than they were, um, which is expected of upperclassmen. And this is kind of the first year we've actually had maybe a veteran team. Um, so it it it's really nice we're able to call something and we don't have to coach every play. They're, they're able to, um, you know, their basketball IQ is higher, they're learning the game better. So that just makes everything a lot easier than um, when they were freshmen and sophomores. And again, I have to say that our middle school coaches did a great job. You know, we really try to align our middle school and our high school. So even the freshmen, they were running the stuff uh, that we run at the high school level as eighth graders. And, and that helped as well, too. So um, although we weren't allowed to, you know, do a lot of team stuff and, you know, you know we didn't really we don't really know what we look like yet against another team. Um, but we are able to uh, get through our playbook a little bit faster just because we have some background and, you know, we've been through it before. So that's been really helpful. This year I'm approaching those types of defense as just look for, like go through the reads and look for what's open because you don't necessarily have to do the fancy thing to try to beat the whole team by yourself. But ultimately I'm trying to use that and just find ways to create for my teammates and just basically allow us to be successful on transition trying to beat the defenses. I mean, it's always come natural for me. I've always been a vocal leader. Uh, I'm a dual sport athlete, so both, both fields I talk a lot on the field. And it just comes to my personality. I talk a lot, so it's just natural, I guess. Oh, it's huge for us. We're, like you said, we're such a young team, and I think we only have like five upperclassmen. So it's huge for us to talk down to our younger girls about like what we need to do and what we need to accomplish in the game. You know, well, I think it starts at the top, and, and I mean their parents. They're uh, fantastic people. They are, they instill um, a sense of earning what you get and hard work. And I was, you know, I, I live near their house, and I would ride over on my bike or car, and they are in the driveway. They were in the driveway all summer. Um, those three going at it, doing drills. Um, it was a consistent effort. So... If you can imagine Marley playing against Riley and Carly, who are very successful college players right now all summer, um, she's ready to go. She's looking great. Um, but I think the biggest thing about the Prue girls is their willingness to be coached. They um, are very um, open to anything criticism, constructive, or they take it. They, they understand the the process of being on a team. They are willing to um, ask questions, um, they wanna be coached hard, and they work hard too. So, um, you know, Carly ha is probably one of the hardest workers I've ever met, and it continued through college. Riley, obviously, too, she um, is a different, you know, guard and post, and, and Marley's gonna be a guard for us, um, but they all three in common have just this ability to push themselves harder than a lot of a lot of other people um, and I think even more so is they're they're really nice kids um, they are great teammates uh, one of the girls one of the upperclassmen yesterday were saying it's so weird when Marley talks I almost feel like Riley's on the floor because they're so similar they sound the same they have the same mannerisms and we were kind of laughing about that because they it's almost like Riley's back um, which is was was kind of funny um, because I, I loved coaching all three of them. I got to be the head coach for Riley. I never got to be the head coach for Carly, but um, I'm excited to have Marley for four years.
I don't like to think about after that though. <laughs> I've had a Peru in the program for a long time, so um, they're definitely a dynamic family and we're happy, we're happy they're here.